After being caught red-handed by the city police officer, the suspect then tried to fight off the officer and a fight broke out. During this fight, he was shot in the leg. As no one was home, the opportunist saw this as an easy target, entering the house through the burglar bars. Neighbours suspected that all was not well and alerted the city police who were on the scene within minutes and the suspect was found in the house busy rounding up items. The man then stormed the officer. What is really pleasing about this instance is that, you know, the neighbour didn't just keep quiet. She didn't just see that something is wrong in the neighbour's yard and she kept quiet. She actually called the police and this ensured that not only was the neighbour's property secured, but also was the suspect apprehended. As crime, and more specifically housebreaking, has been on the decrease in recent months, according to the city police, this phenomenon is still a problem. The neighbourly act of being alert and notifying the police when they feel that there is danger is a positive step to ensuring safety of all. The suspect will be charged. He will be charged with uh, housebreaking and of course the law will take its course where he needs to appear before a competent court that would then um, you know, decide what his fate will be. Emergency services were also called in and he was given uh, uh, first aid on, on, the, on the scene to make sure that he's, you know, in a stable condition and so on and the injury is of such that it's not um, life-threatening. The homeowner arrived at the scene within moments and had this to say. I never expected this could happen to me. When they phoned me I could not believe it. If it was not for my neighbor who knows how many things of mine would have been stolen. Community members are yet again advised to take precaution to ensure their safety and that of their belongings. The suspect was taken to hospital where he will receive medical attention. Reporting for the News on One, I'm Romalda English.